Hi guys, today. So I went to Twitter, I was looking at what's trending, and the first one was Liza. Took a look at what Liza posted. Here's what they had. My heart bleeds for all of the people. March 22. My heart bleeds for all of the people who cannot afford to go out and work. They literally have to choose between dying of starvation or dying of COVID. Is our country really this poor to not be able to provide stimulus? Question, question. Genuine question, lang po. America has received two rounds of stimulus already, waiting for the third. COVID test is free, vaccination is free. Where's the support for the poor in our country? Madali lang naman po magstay at home if, if everyone has food on the table and money to pay the bills. And then I think she ended the day yesterday. I honestly don't even know if my tweets slash my voice actually doing anything. We can only pray for compassion now. Good night, everyone. God bless all of you. And then here's the video from a poor community, except to extend your own help. But that's not really helping now, is it? It's just going to make you feel better about yourself. Mm -mm. I really have no issue with you, Lysa. You truly are one of the Philippines' most prettiest faces. But I hope, hope in God's good graces that first of all, you're not going to compare a third world country to a first world country. And if you're looking for um, programs for the poor, why don't you check up on what your LGU is doing? Do you know what that is, honey? Mm -mm. And again, if you want to look for the communities, the poor communities, and what help the government has done for them, I suggest you do it yourself and not find it on social media. So that's the video from Jam. Magno. The objective of the communication from Liza. Asking that question is an indirect question. So most of the people don't know how to communicate. This question goes to a specific person. If it's undirected, Maybe she does not know where to direct it to, but this should probably go to a particular leader. Or it could be you know, somebody that can make these estimates for her. The question is answered by yes or no, but it's a long-winded research question that will not take a day to answer. Is there a recommended action? There is none. And that's a problem with some communication sometimes because you would want to close your communications with a recommendation or an action. What is the point? Is it to inform? to entertain, to ask, to persuade. I think this, is, this communication is hinting towards persuasion. And yes, she's right. I honestly don't even know if my tweets, my voice actually doing anything. We can only pray for compassion now. Like pray, hmm, okay. Could she have given a great idea or recommended action? I think she's, because of her background, she is likely not to. I don't know her entire background, but from what I know, she's an actress and I don't know anything that she's con contributed to you know, social welfare at all. She obviously has an advantage when it comes to uh, skin color, how pretty she is, right? And that was explicitly mentioned. Let's go to Jam for Jam's video for a while now. She says here that it's gonna extend, it's gonna make you feel good. You saying this will make you feel good, but it doesn't do anything. That's actually the reason why I'm making this video. This, she has a point. There's some people when you communicate, it does more harm than good. What is the overall impact of this communication that Eliza has? She is asking, but asking could also be undermining something if you know how to use it incorrectly, or if you're using it unaware of the impact it will have. Obviously, this helps divide a country, and people might not be aware of that just because she's pretty or it's not that directly said. If you ask, you know, are we that poor, it usually, causes some people to think of their situation and might want to attribute it to something. That's why I would want to her to close it out with an action. The action that she's closing it is on prayer. And I don't think that's enough for me. If there was a genuine question, what is the reason for asking? If you're asking, but you're not gonna do anything about it, then why bother? Comparing a first world country to a third world country. This is one of the things that was always um, explained to me. Well, I'm an economics major. You should never compare a first world country to a third world country. That's absolutely correct. Jam has a point here. No matter how, how poorly worded it is, there's merit to what she's saying. This is usually happens when you're comparing Philippines to Singapore. People don't know that Singapore happened with a takeover and a lot of killings. LGU checkup online. She says that instead of like trying to look for it for social media, she has a point. There are other sources, not just online for that. It seems like Liza is on the habit of just asking for it and she gets it. Maybe that's an advantage you have when you're pretty. I disagree actually with Jam here because there are a lot of work, that public, public work that's seen online. Let's go to, to one of the things on how she's communicating. She's assuming negative intent on the communication. That's bad. It doesn't help with any communication at all. When you assume negative intent, you're already fist up and you want to fight. You don't want to go into communication like that. 
Even if the intent of Liza was genuine and the outcome was negative, there is nothing that will make it positive. That's not how it happens. Somebody has to be the better man and provide two positives, better woman. There was truth in what she's saying, but it was sarcastic. That's also another thing that she's doing there. She was also belittling Liza, saying that, you know, I have nothing against you, saying, oh, I'm not your enemy, after giving the blow. That's really not nice. There could have been a better way. I don't know if she's aware of better ways of handling conversations. Belittling someone doesn't help in a communication, period. You said you hope that you don't compare to a fir first world country. I don't know if this, this video happened before the second post, which was America has received two rounds, which you compare a first world country to a third world country. If this, this video from Jam happened after this, it means she's hoping for something that was already done. Either she's a master of phrasing her statements, you know, trying to reverse and making Liza look bad by saying something that she has already done but in an incorrect order. That's a problem too. Does she have a point? Yes. So why did we want, do, did we want to talk about this? Why is it on always that when there is an online quarrel, there is no etiquette on how that is resolved? This is my video for a challenge for both of them. Well, the, most of these images, they don't do anything but talk. They're all talk. The good leaders that stay know how to do the right thing. And sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. Does Liza have a point? Yes, yeah, she has. Does Jam have a point? Yes, yeah, she has. Have they made stupid remarks before? Yeah, they probably have. I have too. Nobody's perfect. Does that mean that everything I say or they say will always be wrong? I think there are merits to each of their statements. How do we take this forward? There's a difference of opinion. There's a difference of communication styles. There's a difference of context of where both of them are coming from. I don't think this is a problem. I think this is an opportunity for us to see how online disputes are resolved amicably. How are online disputes resolved amicably? Is there a way? Ladies, I'm not your enemy here, but I always thought, how do we resolve things like this? This is my main message for this video. There's no etiquette. And in some cases, the person with the most words win or the most beautiful words win. Let's change that. Let's change that. How do we change that? Let's take a side based on how many socially positive impacting things both of them do past the state. My friend asked me to invest in something. My point is, you want to have social impact? Put your money where your mouth is. Put up or shut up. Ladies, we are born to love. The world is a better place if you and me and her get together, come together, and have fun together. Be the better empowered woman. Let's count. Let's give you a year. See how many you can do. List your actions and your outcomes. And I don't need a photo ops because people can attest to what you've done. This is my call to action for the netizens. Let's hold them accountable for their words. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Let's judge at the end of a year what they did with their time. I will take the side of the person who has more outcomes. Because the person who can deliver outcomes is a smarter one. This is my Liz Jam challenge. And I hope this becomes a trend on how online disputes are resolved. We don't need, need to take this legal. Show what you can do. Good luck, ladies.